Welcome to another edition of Break It to Make It. Our competitors will be given a random object to bust open a hard to break thing. With cash on the line, who will come out on top? We're about to find out. All right, everyone, it's Sloan, and today we're doing it for whimsy. Rainbow glitter. The editors will get it. Hi, I'm Penny. I know I'm not my father's favorite child, but I am my mother's, so booyah. This is gonna be great. I'm gonna break something. Can I get a new table? Can I get a new contestant? First item. The world's smallest desk lamp. <laughs> Is that whimsical enough for you, Sloane? If you had a little tiny mouse that owed you money, you could be like, where were you? Spill the beans, where's the cheese? Okay, let's, let's get to breaking. I got number nine. Penny gets a box of cocoa mix. This is gonna be amazing. Throwing it up. 19, like that 19. It's the rat that owes Sloan money. I was so confident until I got the gummy rat. Number three, a little goldfish toy. A little goldfish told me that's a clownfish. How about 15? Sloan needs to break the world's smallest desk lamp with the world's smallest slinky dog. Three, two, one, break. Yeah. Miss. It got in my mouth. But if I grab it by the little weenie tail and the leash, I might be able to just... Sloan's technique presents a slinky success. I, I did it! <laughs> There's not much left. Did I... That's a win. And I know Kyle's gonna come in soon, so just to make it harder for him... Joey, not you too. Let's move on to round two. Lay it on me. This round, you'll be breaking the Bingsu bead stress ball. Bingsu beads are these tiny, they almost look like a straight macaroni noodle. How do you not love this? Number eight. Penny gets a crunch cup to crush the crunchy ball. Try saying that three times fast. Penny gets a crunch cup to crush the crunchy ball. Penny gets a crunch cup to crush the crunchy ball. Penny gets a crunch cup to crush the crunchy ball. We're good, find out. Get away from me. Oh, no. <laughs> Joey gets the hero clip. At Bridget. Blah, Bridget. That's an audience suggestion from at Bridget who requested a quarter. And if you want to see your name in the game, send your suggestion to breaks at bat19.com. A 10 for whimsy? It's the rejected drop shop dart from our reject series. Break City! You tell me when. When? Oh yeah, we're just gonna goop this baby. Sloan looks like a DJ that doesn't know how to spin a record. Perfect. We're gonna put old George Washington through the center. I think this thing is so strong. Oh. Oh, we're, oh yeah. We're, we're definitely, oh God. I think the stress ball just spit on Sloan. I hate this stress ball so much. It's honestly making me more stressed. Any second now, okay. George Washington with the break. Sorry, guys. That's a break. I got it punctured. Let's go. I did it, and I hate break it to make it. Any more talk like that, and it's no iPad for a week. We're moving on to round three. Bring on the next one. Ugh. Enjoy the sugary goodness of this gummy donut available at vat19.com. My lucky number, letter L. I'll take the L on this one, just for a real donut. That was a seven, and you get a donut dessert pen. And the donut pen is mightier than the donut. I think Socrates said that. Anything said on this show becomes historical fact. I don't know if it makes my chances better, but I did get a good one. What do I have? It's a can of Duff sparkling beverage. Number 16, trust me, it was 16. What the hell? A cherry blossom mug. Number two. A putty? Oh, I got this. The sweet surprise hide inside putty. I'm ready, start the clock. Let's break. First, yes. That was dumb. You're just channeling your inner Homer. Go make this baddie glazed and confused. Oh man. Oh, we're just giving it little buttholes. What did she say? Buttholes. That's a sturdy mug. Available at 19. You can break a whole table, but a mug stays intact. I mean, you want to use the sharp parts. I can kinda. Ooh, that's actually not that bad. 
got it. Oh, well there goes the point of the pen. So, no, this is pointless. Still kicking it. Do you know how much time I have left? 20 seconds. No, shoot, I gotta win. <laughs> scrapity doo dah, scrapity. Scrapity scrape. Oh man. I, gang, I don't know if it's gonna happen for our hero. No. No! I'm making progress and I'm soaked in soda. Okay. <laughs> this looks like cheating because it is. <laughs> oh. Pfft. Just in the nick of time. More like just in the nick of time using only your hands. No break! Gosh, it's like frickin' cement. I'm tired. <sighs> it might not be a break. Womp uh, womp. Let's move on to round four. Sorry, Easter. This basket's about to be a butt skip. Butt skip. Two cheeks on this though, pretty funny. That's what happens. I think I can still make this work. I have to redeem myself from last round, so I'm gonna win. I got this in the basket. Number six. Kyle gets an egg cookie cutter. It's still covered in my filth. Eleven. Shamed and soaked. A hat? You might be shamed, but at least you'll look pretty in this Easter bonnet. Numero 17. A buck. 14? Oh no, a feisty buddy! Available at bat19.com. Let's break! This basket. Scoopity. Woo! My baskets! Some might call that the kiss of death. It's okay. Something broke. Oh, it's the hat. If I bend it enough, I can break it. I can use it like a little shiv. I mean, I thought I'd be going just right through this guy. The wicker is thicker! As they say. Was that Socrates again? What's next after Mitz of Shame? If I do this like this. Well, if you break it, you get the money. And if you don't, you don't get money. Ah, that's the stuff. Get out of there. <laughs> it's about time someone made an Easter horror movie. This is working. It's kind of like one of those straw hats now. You can't really use it. Did I get the money? Kyle, wearing his Sunday best. Don't put your eggs in that basket, cause it's broke. Yep, yep, yep. Is it me, or is Joey really owning that hat? I think I broke it. Yum, 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 yum. That's a funny break. And now it's time for the big money bonus round. Each of our competitors will receive an Apple Watch of some kind, and shatter it until it can't turn on anymore. Okay, if you wanna look at this nice scuffed surface. Sloan gets a used Apple Watch. Penny must break a children's smartwatch. Bring it in. Joey gets an apple-shaped watch. I mean, it is an apple-looking watch? I bet it's gonna be me that gets the good one. Oh, correct I was. Kyle must break the newest, most durable Apple Watch there is, the Ultra. Number 13. Penny gets a sock monkey with a monkey wrench. What is number eight gonna get me? It's an Apple Corer that also looks like a torture device. 12, a dozen, a dozen Easter eggs, peeled and turned into deviled eggs. A DIY hammer. 18. Joey gets an apple-shaped apple. And break. Well, did a lot more damage to the apple than the apple apple watch. Oh no. Oh yeah, that's my girl. A uh, goodbye. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'll pulverize it. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna do this. You're supposed to make money, not applesauce. Man, it's like turning into Parmesan. Like, you just say when. Oh, there we go. Now we're cooking. Let's try this. I heard pieces. Floor breaks don't count, Joey. You heard no money. Oh, I got this. I'm just gonna peel that <laughs> bad boy away. <laughs> Look at that, though. That is fun. Doesn't turn on. Totally busted, I got it. Looks like the floor is mightier than the apple. No break. Do you guys want to see if it turns on? Uh, duh. Atta girl. 
Well, gang, that's the way the hammer crumbles. We're gonna call that a break. I'm Sloan. It's been a pleasure. Be kind to each other. And mean to random objects. Be sure to check out all of our cool products at vat19.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Vat19.com.